Hello guys, welcome back and my name is Edison and today we are going to do a very 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 interesting thing and uh, we sh uh, shall be dealing with interrupt in uh, uh, STM uh, that to nuclear board and uh, this is how we shall set up a very simple project to uh, demonstrate how an interrupt uh, works and uh, we shall have our buzzer connected to pin PA5 and ground and then we shall have a proximity sensor uh, connected to PC13 the output of the proximity sensor connected to PC13 uh, the proximity sensor is a digital sensor uh, which gives either a 1 or a 0 or uh, when there is an obstacle before it and our place before it and uh, so we go to our file uh, you create a new STM32 project and then you select this is where you select your board uh, this is Nucleo I'm using Nucleo L446RE and uh, just say next and the project name we shall call it interrupt uh interrupt uh tutorial 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 so then you finish then you initialize your peripherals with your default mode and you wait for uh, the initialization of the device configuration tool and uh, creating the project. So this will take about a few seconds, then we shall begin to write our code. And we are using ST, we are using uh, STM32 cube IDE as you can see. So uh, our code, uh, our device uh, configuration tool was nice. Then you come here for pinout and uh, configuration. Remember PE5, this is where we shall connect our buzzer. So you shall rename this. Uh, by default, it is connected to the green LED. But right now we are going to use it uh, to connect our buzzer. So it will be buzzer pin now. So then the push button, uh, we shall use this button as uh, an external interrupt. So you click again, then GPIO external interrupt, and you can rename these as interrupt. Interrupt. So it will be interrupt pin. Then you go to the system view, and uh, you click. Uh, the NVIC this is the nested the vector the interrupt controller so you come here and uh, check this box external interrupt line 15 10 enter so just check that you can also check these and uh, then you come here you create your uh, you generate your code uh. So after generating your code, uh, you come here, call our source uh, main.c. So uh, this is where we shall write our C program. We are going to use two files. We are going to use the interrupt uh, .c file and the main.c. So in the main in the main.c we are going to declare two variables uh, that is our uh, int on time on time and uh, int off time <clears throat> so this we control how the buzzer will sound and how fast to produce the sound so uh, we come here to the while loop and we shall begin to write our 
very simple code uh, like uh, setting the pin high uh, GPIO right pin and uh, our buzzer is connected uh, to pin PA5 so this is GPIO A it is PA5 from port A so then we go to GPIO pin remember we renamed our pin to buzzer pin so this is buzzer pin and the pin state we are going to set this high so uh, GPIO pin set so from there we are going to create a delay uh, a delay uh, delay and then we are going to give it on time so how long will it be on and uh, we are going to reset our pin uh, uh, G P I O uh, right pin and let it stay from port A and let you see the buzzer pin buzzer pin and the pin state this shall be GPIO uh, pin reset reset so and then we have a delay at that point of the uh, uh, delay uh, uh, of time that is the time that this pin will be low so then from there you open the interrupt dot uh, c file and you come here you uh you define your variables oh uh we, we go back to the main and this is where we shall declare these values as extern extern externally we shall declare them externally in the interrupt dot file interrupt file so then you go back to switch back to your interrupt file and this is where you shall come and look for private variables and you write your uh you declare them so uh, int on time on time uh, is equals to we can also initialize them to 250 millisecond and uh, int off time of time we initialize these at a thousand millisecond that is one second then uh after we we, we checked the box at the nvic there was a created uh, there was a function created the external interrupt function that is irq handler was created and you can see that uh, our pin uh pin 13 pc 13 it was configured as an external interrupt so we were now you write your code uh, uh, so that it can function as an interrupt so if you write a very small function of uh, conditional statements if if her GPIO read pin read pin now we are reading from remember uh, our proximity sensor is connected to pc13 so it is from gpio port c so it will be gpio c and it will be interrupt interrupt pin then if our if we read the interrupt pin and uh, if it is pressed that is when equals to one is pressed we shall do something uh, if it is pressed we want to test something so we create a nested if statement so if it is pressed if uh, on time is equals to is equal equal to 250 we want to exchange this we now our on time will be equal to a thousand 
uh, millisecond that is one second and of time of time will be equal to 250 so what we have we have just done is extend the on time and the off time so else that is else if on time is equal is equal to a thousand so we shall have these guys here our on time will be equal to uh, 250 and uh, our off time will be equal to will be equal to a thousand milliseconds so uh, to take care of the debouncing when you're pressing the switch we shall have this uh, function int i is equal to zero i i uh, i is less than or equal to the 285 and uh, i plus plus so we open it there and we create another curly bracket there you can highlight all these and right click you go to source to correct the identification so that is the correct identification so then from there will we build our project and uh, see whether we have any occurring errors so we have zero errors and zero warnings so you run you debug us you debug use the debug as option you debug as stm that two cortex m c plus c c plus plus application remember when you have not when you don't connect your uh, nuclear board uh, at this part what you find is none but when you connect your uh, your steering device you will see that you have a device here so just debug start and wait for a little bit so it is connected our debugger is connected so then you resume you press the resume button You can see that in this project I have the proximity sensor, I also have the buzzer, the buzzer is connected to pin PA5 and uh, ground, then the you can check how the proximity sensor is connected, it has a ground and the VCC and the output, so the output is connected to pin uh, P. C13 that is over here so we shall note that uh, this PC13 we configured it as an external interrupt so when you uh, put an obstacle uh, close to the proximity sensor you shall hear that the uh, frequency of the buzzer will change so let's try this so you can hear that uh, the, the on time and the off time change and the frequency also change so we can try this again so thank you guys for following up with me and uh, i hope to see you in the next tu tutorial so don't forget to subscribe like or share Thank you.